Hey everyone, so in today's video I am going to be talking a little bit about fake service dogs just spreading more awareness about them, explaining what they are, how they affect the service dog community, why service dog handlers get so heated on the topic, and of course my own personal opinion on the matter. So let's get started. So I'm going to start by defining what a real service dog is. So under the Americans with Disability Act.gov, a real service dog is defined as a dog or miniature horse that is task trained to perform these tasks for an individual with a disability. Now these tasks must be specific to help the handler with their disability. I will insert a picture here from the website and it just defines again what a service dog is. I also want to make you all aware that emotional support is not a service dog task. And here's another picture, it says it right on the website. Service dogs also must be trained to obey and remain under control while in public places. If a service dog is not trained to obey and remain under control in a public place, they do not have public access rights to go there. And again, here's another picture and it just describes what under control means. Well, look who decided to join me. Sit. Oh, good girl. Okay, so now y'all know what a real service dog is. So, I'm going to explain to y'all what a fake service dog is. So, a fake service dog is a dog or any animal, to be honest, that somebody takes into public, claims it to be their service dog when the dog is not trained to perform tasks for the person's disability if the person's disabled or not. Um, that is what a fake service dog is. Yes. <laughs> no. So, some people will fake a service dog knowing that they're faking one, knowing that it's against the law, while other people will fake a service dog not even realizing what they're doing is against the law and not even realizing that they're faking a service dog. Now, how can somebody do this without realizing that they're faking a service dog? Well, let me explain that to you because there are plenty of reasons why somebody would do this without knowing. So there are many, many, many websites out there online that sell service dog certificates and registrations um, for anywhere from 25 to 300 plus dollars. Now, I want to make you aware that these websites, these certifications and registrations are not real. They are false documents. They do not make the dog a service animal. And the Department of Justice does not recognize these documents as proof that the animal is a service animal. And it also says that right on the Americans with Disability Act website. So I am going to show you all that picture right now. So people who have not properly done their research um, will purchase these documents, um, these papers, registrations, certifications, all of this, and then they get them in the mail. And now these people legitimately think that since they filled out something that took five minutes online, now their dog's a service animal and they have the right to take their dog everywhere with them. Um, a lot of people think the same thing about whether they buy their dog a vest on Amazon or anywhere online. And apparently, in some people's minds, if you buy your dog a vest and you put it on them, then they can just go anywhere with you, which is not the case, again, the Department of Justice does not recognize a vest or paperwork as proof that the dog's a service animal. People also don't realize, this includes the people who are faking service animals and store employees, they don't realize that if there is a service dog in a store or any type of animal that somebody's claiming to be their service animal and it's out of control, no matter if the person has paperwork or a vest or a doctor's note or anything, if the dog's out of control, 
store employees have the right to ask the dog to leave okay I, I I see this a lot where people will bring a misbehaving service dog out into public and employees will tell them that they can't have their dog there because it's peeing on the ground and it's nipping at people as they walk by but they say oh no it's okay I have papers so it's fine no paperwork doesn't justify a dog's misbehavior at all it's not okay so let's get to our next point. How does this affect the service dog community? Well, when somebody brings out a fake service dog that is out of control and misbehaving, the general public doesn't realize that it's a fake service dog. The general public sees a dog in a service dog vest, they think it's a service dog and it's misbehaving and that reflects badly on us who have real service dogs. Um, it just puts a bad image on service dog teams. I can't count the number of times where I have gone out into public with my dog and people have told me, quote, wow, I have never seen a service dog behave that well before. And I'm like, well, most service dogs should behave this well and if they're behaving badly, it's probably not a trained service dog. So also, when people go around with their fake service dogs and their fake papers, they're showing businesses these papers. They're walking around, they're flashing them around, using it as an excuse for employees to let them keep their misbehaving pet in the store. Um, next thing you know, they're asking me for my papers because these papers look official. They do. And then these employees think that all service dogs have these papers and if they don't then it must not be a real service dog um anyway yeah i've had some occasions where i do try to go somewhere and they have asked me for my paperwork telling me that they've had other dogs show them this paperwork um and i try to explain to them that I'm sorry, there is no such thing, and I will show y'all a picture right here. It is another picture from the Americans with Disability Act.gov website, and it does say the only two legal questions they are allowed to ask you, and it also states that these papers, they don't have any meaning under the law. They don't give a dog the right to go places with someone, so there's that. But yeah, it's it's quite annoying um, when a service dog handler goes in with their perfectly well-behaved dog and they're denied access because somebody else had come in before them showing them their paperwork, yet their dog's completely acting like a nuisance. Um, it's also quite frustrating when I go into stores and I run into these fake service dogs while I have my trained service dog with me. Um, service dogs are trained to ignore other dogs when they see them in public, you know? So if you have a service dog and you run into another team, there's not a problem. The dogs may get distracted a little bit, but they're going to ignore each other and keep doing their job. No. When I run into a fake service dog team, the dog normally barks and lunges at my dog. There have been way too many incidences where service dogs are violently attacked by other fake service dogs or even just pets in stores there are reasons why people aren't allowed to bring pets into stores there are reasons why service dogs have to go through years of training to be able to work well and behave in those public environments i have a friend who recently her dog's actually been attacked an, a number of occasions but the most recent attack left her dog having to get stitches um, and it was by a fake service dog and she has to now retire her dog and yes it does physically injure the dog but on some cases the dog may come out being physically fine but after that traumatic experience that the dogs went through I mean, there is some kind of anxiety now that this dog has when it sees other dogs in public. The dog may become reactive and aggressive, 
and defensive and protective. That's not okay for a service dog to act that way. It really isn't. Service dogs are to be calm, non-reactive, even when there are reactive dogs around. So keep that in mind when you bring your pet out. Your one little store trip with your pet could take away somebody's service dog that they've spent thousands of dollars on and years of training. Many people think that the service dog community overreacts to pets being in stores or fakes being in stores and yes i do agree that a lot of service dog handlers do handle these situations extremely wrong um there are certain ways that these situations should be handled and a lot of the times they are not handled properly um but the reason we get so upset is because we see these fakes and these pets in stores all the time it's very frightening when ever you go into a store you know that that might be the last time your dog goes out with you because if there is a fake in the store that does end up attacking your dog that's it i mean your dog could die your dog might possibly most likely have to retire depending on how bad the attack is it's not okay and i know my walmart in my location um the employees have told me that they have no pet policies but they're not allowed to enforce it what hmm it's a little bit frustrating the other day i was at walmart um and i was standing in an aisle with my dog and somebody had driven by on one of those like driving cart things and they had a little tiny mini aussie it looked like a mini Aussie, no offense towards that breed, but that was just the dog that was there that day. And it was on a flexi leash, and the person had kept going, never saw my dog, but the other dog did see Dallas, and it ran into our aisle because it was able to. It was on a flexi leash, it was basically off lead. Um, and it tried to bite Dallas, it really did. It snapped and tried to bite her, and it growled and started barking. And I yanked Dallas back in time, it missed when it tried to bite her. But oh, it was terrifying. And it's just not okay, people shouldn't have to deal with that when they go out into public with their dog. But yeah, the, it's just, it's frustrating. I mean, knowing that we put in so much money and so much time into training our dog, within five seconds that can all be taken away just because somebody wanted to have fun and bring their dog into a store. It's not okay, it really is not okay. Now, how do you know if a service dog is a fake or a real service dog? So, the easy answer is by how it behaves is the main thing. Um, also, keep in mind that service dogs are not perfect. Service dogs do make mistakes. And just because you saw a service dog mess up within a split second does not mean that it's a fake service dog. So, be careful of who you accuse of owning a fake service dog. Um, I want to also put in some video clips of these videos that I found off of Instagram from a page called fake.servicedogs. Um, they're videos of dogs who are obviously not trained service dogs. And I'm also going to put in some videos of me and my service dog so that you can just see the difference of how a real service dog acts compared to how a dog that's not trained in a store would act. But it's in training. Jesus. Dogs aren't supposed to be here. Thank you. Sit. Blood. Sit. Blood. 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 
but please stay safe keep an eye out don't be afraid to report something and don't be afraid to stick up for yourself okay now i hope you like this video definitely let me know in the comments if you have had experiences with fakes how they've affected you whether or not you have a service dog fakes affect everyday people too who don't have service dogs i have ran into a fake at a store and it jumped on an old man he didn't have a service dog but it still affected his day.